Hello everybody, it's Rick Ashbringer here, and again we are in Vault uh, 81. Anyway, what's going to happen now is the teacher is about to launch the goat test uh, session. Yeah, Alexis fixed it up real good. Took her a few weeks to get to, but it was worth it. Yeah, she's a whiz with just about anything. All right, children, today we're going to talk about the goat. Who here can tell me what GOAT stands for? Generalized Occupational Attitude Test? Very close, Erin. It's the Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. The GOAT is used to determine what your best skill sets are and assign you the appropriate career within the vault. What if we don't like it? I mean, I don't want to be stuck here doing security or anything. If you don't like your results, you'll have to take it up with the overseer when the time comes. Lucky for all of you, the GOAT isn't given until you're 16 years of age. Now here are some example images that you'll be shown. Ew! Each image is associated with a question and will have four answers to choose from. The image you're shown presents a situation and each of the answers is a reaction. For example, this image was used in previous tests to ask which position you'd prefer. Pitcher, catcher, designated hitter, or none. You wish the vault had a soccer team. Your results are then fed into the computer to calculate your appropriate career. We don't even have real sports here. It's okay, Aaron. You'll choose the answer based on how you feel. Use instinct and be as honest as possible. Otherwise, that's a sure way to end up in an occupation that's not suitable for you. Any questions? Did the goat say you should be a teacher, Miss Pin? Yes, it did. And I feel very lucky to be teaching all of you today. What if we don't want to stay in the vault? Well, unfortunately, the GOAT only designates careers within the vault itself. If you'd like to pursue something outside of the vault, you'd want to discuss that with the Overseer. Ugh, she'd never let me go. Give it time. You still have six years to take the test. A lot can change between then and now. Okay. And that's the class on the GOAT test. Uh, in the normal game, it doesn't work. You have to download a mod for it to work, and well, I'm glad to see that it still works. Anyway, we need to venture out of the vault. Let's see if we can find our way out. And we need to go find that cat. She's looking pretty bad in there. So we have here, kitty kitty. I don't know if we have anything else selected. We don't. Okay. Only the turnips are right. Nobody likes turnips. <laughs> Problems of vault life. And watch out for the maintenance. Is that your pit boy? It better be. <laughs> well, I did pick it up off of a skeleton, so I guess in a way you could say it isn't. animal breathing. I was like, I know dog meat isn't around here. So for us to progress further into the uh, Vault 81 quest line, we need to find this cat. There he is. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. <laughs> and this cat, unlike others, does exactly what it's told. Okay, well, just got to notice to listen to Nuka-Cola Family Radio. Bring your empty bottle of Nuka-Cola to get $15 off a 
accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to end of season. Nuka World, Nuka Express, and the Nuka Cola characters are all registered trademarks of the Nuka Cola Corporation. Okay. Well, we're not going to worry about that right okay. now. That is going to be something entirely on its own. Okay, so let's head back in and talk to Aaron. Well, first we did go up a level, so we hit level 30. Now let's take a look. Did Aaron add more carry weight? And we need to add more science. There's a mole rat in the station near the reactor room. I'd steer clear if I were you. If you want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. Don't want any trouble in anyone. Austin got himself bit by a mole rat. So now they got us cooped up in here to watch Aaron. Ashton, it's ridiculous. You found him! Thanks, mister. I was so worried about him. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Ashes! Hey, we got a fusion Ashton. core for that. So, make I'm sure you so do that quest. You. Welcome back. Nice to see the common. Well, that's you got. Huh? If you're looking to do some no, trading, don't look like for the depot. Either. Alexis is just But I'm just happy you're back. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsyth. Not now, Bob. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? You know that door Austin found? Stop. He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there. So I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault? Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junky genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save Jeez, my boy's what life? What to her face? <laughs> what do you need me to do? Save my boy, Austin. I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. I think some updates made some changes to her face. <laughs> Poor Priscilla. She's worried sick. She's barely 
feet have slept since it happened. Okay, so here we go to Vault 81. Let's do a hard save. Secret Vault 81. Breeding program update. Mole rat breeders we finally got the breeding program stabilized. As earlier reports indicated, the mole rats show unusual degrees of aggression in captivity. This may be due to the growth hormones. Recent generations seem more docile, although some of the keepers are complaining that the lab animals are watching them, which is preposterous. Serum production. We have created 197 distinct serums that can treat 36% of known viruses. This is a modest improvement from last year's 33% treatment rate. However, 11 of the serums account for 61% of the treatment results, which is encouraging. At this point, only 19% of serums have the potential to be mass produced. We have tasked our latest robot lab assistant to find ways to th synthesize more of them efficiently. So they were breeding mole rats in here. Now, the thing to know about these mole rats is if we get bit, we're going to get a mole rat disease that knocks our health down by 10 hit points. We need to save off any... Hard save here. Let's see what we have for grenades. We have seven fragmentation grenades.
around us. Oh, I did get bit though. See, that's what I'm talking about. All right. We just may have to go with getting bit. <laughs> Need. Oh, you bastard, you got me. Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. That's nah, screw it. <laughs> I can do this. I have done it. This is a tricky spot right here. New grenade, grenade. Here, we're just pushing on. Good. I got it. Yeah, I get bit. It's hard to avoid. You can do it though. Uh, that's all right. It's just ten hit points. <laughs> it's Let's see if you can see it right here. Uh, stats. Status. Special perks. Okay, it's not. It's not showing it to me. Uh, oh, Q show effects. Okay, so max HP is minus ten. Oh wow, big deal. I'm sure the <laughs>
password somewhere. There it is. Okay. So, let's take a look at the research comp terminal. This tells us what was going on. This terminal is equipped with all tech proprietary technology, allowing communication between interlink terminals referred to user manual before use. Interlink status, Sarah 451, com active, null, admin credit, all, oh, all of that, and user credit, testing, one, two, three. Collins, testing. Dr. Olivet, do you copy? Olivet, I do, Kenneth. Everything good over there. Just another drill day, right, Overseer? It is, and thank God for that. Collins, Overseer, there are just three of us over here. What's going on? Olivet, are you getting this? Sorry, Kevin, it's been a madhouse on this side. Only three? Myself, Jim Flint, and that kid Burrow. Where, where's everyone else? All of that. Not over here. Residents are being admitted. They started showing up in droves once the news started broadcasting. Collins, that's the same way I heard. You think Vault Tech would have had enough warning to call at least a beta drill for staff this morning? Something, all of that, something must have gone wrong. Phase 1 trial. Collins, we've been pretty limited down here, but we've been focused on antibiotics and have our first Petri trials underway. All of that. I saw the data last night. It's promising. Do you think it's ready? Collins, the trials just started, and the virus we're going after has a few days of inoculation. But I'm optimistic that later this week we'll see positive results. All of that. Okay, keep me posted, and don't begin phase two trials until I have an opportunity to go through the new data. Collins, of course, have a good afternoon, Overseer. Food extruder issue. Uh, overseer, do you have a minute? This system is an instantaneous borrow. I hope you haven't been waiting for a reply all morning. Borrow, sorry, Overseer, I wanted to notify you about an issue with our food extruder. Okay, I see. Now, it looks like a clog in the protein tank. You weren't able to address it on your end? No, Overseer, hardware failures on the residential side must be addressed over there. We can't get to the tanks or nozzles to repair them. All that. Okay, Borrow, I'll have maintenance down there immediately to go stand by. Go stand by and have Collins contact me if there's still issues in about 10 minutes, okay? Burrow, thank you, Overseer. I'll go there now. Phase 2 trial. Good news, Dr. Olivet. We've tweaked our formula based on Phase 1 trial results, and I think we're ready to go with Phase 2. Olivet, how's the mole rat population doing? Collins, very well. The specimens Vault Tech provided are remarkably hardy. Flint has been doing some radiation testing on them. All of that. Is that in the protocols? Collins, not technically, but we noticed some weird stuff with the kibble provided for them. Burrow got pretty sick for a day or two. Don't ask. Flint's been looking into it. These suckers are big to begin with, and we're thinking it's genetic. All of that. Tampered with? Something like that. I think Vault Tech must have been running some experiments with them. They're all unusually large. A few demonstrate bioluminescence. At least one appears more intelligent than normal. All of that. Do you think there's still a useful control? Collins. We've divided the colony, separated the most unusual specimens, and put the control colony on a new diet taken from our own food supply. Uh, it's not ideal, but I think we're okay. All of that. Very well. Give me the evening to go over your date again, but I think you're clear to begin phase two, unless I find something I don't expect. Delivery failure. Overseer, yes, Borrow, what is it? I've noticed an issue with our delivery mechanisms. Do you know if anyone has tampered with nozzles in the residential quarters on your side? All that I don't know what I don't know. What are you doing with the delivery system anyway? The phase two trial just began. I know, Overseer, I just thought it would be a good idea to run tests on the delivery system before we reach phase three. If we reach phase three, human trials are not to be undertaken lightly. What kind of tests were you hoping to run anyway? Borrows just a placebo vapor to make sure the nozzles are dispensing mist properly. The residents wouldn't even know we had done anything. I guess that's the idea, though. I'll, I'll look into the nozzle issue on my end, Borrow. In the meantime, please don't use the delivery system without my direct approval. Something's going on. Please answer. Doctor, please get in touch. I know what you've done. Honestly, I don't blame you. Performing the Phase 3 trial on non-consenting humans is a breach of ethics, at least according to the world we used to live in. 
pounds. I can keep Barrow together for a while, but Flint's already suspicious. What are we supposed to do over here? I can only lie to them for so long without some actual response from you. Collins, damn it, Olivet. You can't be such a hypocrite that you condemn us to die in the name of your personal sense of morality. I know your politics, but I never thought you'd actually leave men for dead. Please reconsider this. So the Overseer sabotaged the experiment. He prevented the team on this side from releasing God knows what into the vault to test whatever it is they wanted to test. And now we are here looking for a cure for Austin. Here we are, Baltic Black Coat. Bones. Bones. Microscope. How are we doing on weight? Doing really good. Oh, another stranger. Are you Void Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Do I look like Vault Tech Security? Jeez. Over the long years, who is to say what is fashionable now? True, your attire is a bit dirty, but not all people properly value the importance of hygiene and cleanliness. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Why can't you just leave? I require verbal or written authorization. Actually, any Voltec employee, even you, could authorize me. You must be Voltec, or you couldn't possibly be here. These mole rats were lab rats? Why, yes. I've grown quite fond of them over the years, but they outlived their usefulness 83 years ago. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Since you are a Voltec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. You only have one dose? That is correct. There used to be more. But they all expired. Sadly, the organic compounds necessary to make more have all deteriorated. Thanks for the cure. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Okay. Well, take this bobblehead. Medicine bobblehead. The smart man knows a bandage only hides his wounds. Stim packs. Permanently heal 10% more damage. So, we'll take a look at this terminal. Mission statement. From Vault Tech Board of Directors to Chief Scientist, Vault 81, Medical Lab Partition. We are entrusting you with a mission that is critical to all humanity. Vault 81 will be used to wipe out diseases as we know it in the human race. Your petition of the vault has been equipped with state-of-the-art medical research equipment, including the new Contagions, Vulnerability, Robotic, Infirmary, Engineer, a.k.a. Curie. There is a century's worth of biological and chemical supplies. There are genetically adapted mole rats, and most important, a vault full of test subjects. As with all great progress, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. You will be infecting the people of the vault with diseases in an attempt to have them develop antibodies. Some may not survive, but you must ensure that a breeding population is always maintained. 
It will take many generations, but with proper procedures, you should be able to develop a disease-resistant group of humans. Your work will be the work of generations. Each generation of scientists will select a chief scientist. Curie will make sure that each reads this mission statement to keep the vault focused over the centuries. We wish you the best of luck. And if we go over here, we go to Curie's terminal. So, this terminal is now for the exclusive use of Curie for both research and personal purposes. Please respect your privacy and use other terminals for your own work. Thank you, Dr. Collins. Uh, research. Date of last data purge, memory failure. This terminal not recommended for research backups. Please use hard copies. Personal entries are the personal work and property of Curie. Do not read. Yes, this means you, Dr. Collins. Okay, I have been ordered by Dr. Collins to add an entry to this terminal. Dr. Collins was most insistent that this is my terminal. I explained several times that robots cannot own property as per Robco policy, but his orders were most clear and insistent. I will comply with Dr. Collins' wishes and maintain a log when ordered to. Colleagues, I have completed my analysis and integration of the data to make me a capable research assistant. I have been commanded to provide an assessment of my colleagues. Dr. Flint is objectively brilliant, although Dr. Collins repeatedly calls him brusque. But I find Dr. Flint's commands and speech patterns easier to parse. His observations are always very astute, and I am learning much about working with cell cultures from him. Matsuo Baro is perfectly acceptable to work with. He performs menial tasks which my programming is perfectly suited for, such as carrying heavy lab equipment. This is strange because my cap capabilities for such a task are far beyond those of a human male. I am told by Dr. Collins that this is a sign of respect that Monsuro Baro is making. This does not compute. So she doesn't really understand human interactions and the way people act. Stress. Unusually agitated state. He would not leave his quarters after his morning meal. Dr. Car Collins assures me this state is temporary and that Monsoro Bora is merely overwhelmed with the... No. Static. Okay. So it seems like one of the uh, physicians is starting to suffer from mental decline, like dementia or something. Eulogy. Dr. Burrow is deceased. Postmortem indicates he expired from a severe cardiac arrest brought on by advanced age. He died at 5.01 a.m. shortly after waking. In accordance with the doctor's pre-existing orders, the body was cremated and placed in the specified urn alongside Dr. Collins and Flynn. Dr. Burrow was a great assistance in continuing the work left to us by the others. My last order was to continue working on our projects alone so that our deaths will not be in vain. My processors are fully committed to furthering the study of pathogens and viruses for the betterment of mankind to honor this last request. Message ends. Collins Archive. Boot up. We're hamstrung with only three researchers. Decide to make a few modifications to this Mr. Handy robot. Should be really useful for speeding up some of our lab work. I've been pretty anxious since admittance day. As if the world ending wasn't enough, I'm very concerned about all of its motives. Dusting off some of my old robotics chops has been just the distraction I've needed. Personality Profile I've decided to write a suite of custom personality settings for the robot. She's a little bit of a Lisa. I really hope she got into her vault down in DC. And a little bit my grad school fling from Versailles back in 46. I'm loading her databanks with every great body of work I have access to here. Kant, Einstein, Born, Darwin, Curie, Faraday, Turing, Braun. She'll have so much to learn. It's already made her feel so much more like a peer in the lab as opposed to an apprentice. I'm calling her Curie. I know, I know, I was never a subtle man. Therapeutic. Curie's been doing great. Flint's finally stopped treating me like a crazy person for insisting we address her as a human. And I swear, Baro is deferential to her in a way that reminds me of seeing him around Rebecca back during the drills. It's actually endearing to see. Most importantly, and perhaps more surprisingly, 
She's bringing a sense of normalcy to the lab, keeping us all a bit more grounded. Anything to keep our minds off the situation we're in is all too welcome. I've tuned her personality matrix a lot, but it's beginning to feel wrong to manipulate her. I'm going to leave her programming alone for now, and just see how she evolves as she keeps learning. More. <laughs> Ongoing directive. <clears throat> Haven't touched this terminal in years, not since I gave it to Curie as her own. Seeing her reaction to having something of her own was transformational. It just seemed wrong to violate that, so it's truly been for her eyes only ever since. This final entry is an exception, and I suppose it's being written out of habit as a man used to a lifetime of recording his experiments. We lost Flint today, and Burrow had to, has to spend more time helping me around the lab than actually performing research these days. So if only to report my findings, Curie has been a remarkable success. She transcended my expectations of robotic programming. Her personality feels as genuine as my own. Her interest in scientific research is insatiable, and seeing her struggle with concepts like mortality has been completely moving. Truly, she is my greatest work. I only hope that one day she can see more of the world. If only I could be there to witness her reaction to the blue skies and butterflies she's only heard me sing about. Quite moving. So, time for us to move on. Should say anything else? So much to learn and see. Okay. Well, she's going to follow us out. Okay. Hopefully, eventually. <laughs> Come on, Curie. She's not a companion yet. door opens right out to here. What I wouldn't give for some real time off. <laughs> Stay safe, sir. Are you coming, Curie? Where'd she go? I don't know. All right, let's go. Oh, there she is. Pip-Boy belongs to you. Well, the guy who had it before me didn't need it anymore. Excuse me, Dr. Forsythe. The cure? You found it? Here, take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. No, I could have kept it, used it for myself, and let the kid die, but that's just not in my character. <laughs> and if you do that, they hate you it and pretty much kick long. you out of the wall. What? Where, where am I? You're Thank in God. the clinic. You were really sick, Master. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Thanks, mister. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for a friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the surrender. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left, as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. Oh I hope you enjoy your accommodation. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. 
I had no idea of the dangers vault Tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. What do you know about vault Tech? I'm afraid not much. I've spent my entire life being thankful for the vault, for the walls that protected us over two centuries. But not once have I had contact with them. Whatever vault Tech had planned, it failed and took their entire staff out with it. No arguments here. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted, and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here, and I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. A moment, please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists, unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. After the bombs, the Commonwealth is a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there. And if nothing else, there is data. Please, monsieur, can you take me with you? It's no picnic up there. Anything you can do to help us survive? But of course. I have been equipped with medical equipment. If you become injured in our journeys, I can administer steam packs. I also have defensive capabilities, a laser. But surely there's little reason to use that. Come along then. Excellent. We must embark at once. Okay, so now we've picked up Curie as a companion. So, that completes this quest line for Vault 81. There will be a little bit more for us to do. We need to go visit uh, one of the vendors to pick up one of the best legendaries in the game, the Overseer's Guardian. So we'll do that in the next video. So, that's all I've got for now. Hope you've liked this. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this playthrough so far. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, good luck and have fun out there.